My husband will only eat cheese pizza and potatoes. I'm not lying. My husband has always been a picky eater. But it's not gotten to the point where he will only eat cheese pizza or potatoes. It can be any type of potatoes. As long as it doesn't have anything extra added. Anything I cook. He'll wince it and eat what he wants. This really rubs off on our son. He refuses to eat any sort of vegetables. And constantly uses my husband as an excuse. My son does eat his food by the end. But this is causing a huge rift between my husband and I. And I'm not sure what to do. Oh. Wow. His health has to be seriously at risk. Does he admit his diet is bad? That he is setting a bad example for your child? Does he get that this is going to kill him? Or that it is absolutely nuts? Try and get him to see your GP for blood work. Maybe he could be convinced to make some changes if a doctor can scare the hell out of him. He could also have an eating disorder. Stay firm on your child's diet. Be sure your husband has life insurance and the payments are up to date. Check this. Avoidant, restrictive food intake disorder. Arfid. It's an eating disorder. Has he always been like this? Have you talked to his parents? There are therapists and they mostly work with people on the spectrum but it's not easy to get a referral. There was a story the other day about a kid that has this issue and to get a referral he had to refuse food and not eat for 72 hours. The kid would rather starve than eat something that wasn't noodles. Do you think your husband would rather starve than eat something that's not pizza and potatoes? I think you have to make him talk to his GP to get a referral for therapy and a checkup. In the meantime, I'd get him vitamins. He cannot live on potatoes and pizza. HTTPS www.reddit.com slash r slash arfid slash Please see this sub-community. Because this sounds like a very real eating disorder. It could be from trauma. Could be sensory processing disorder or some other executive dysfunction. Either way, it's essentially become an eating disorder known as avoidant, restrictive food intake disorder. I recommend you both do some research as every time I hear a story about people eating only tasseless food and start living off just potatoes it is a sign or a wider health or mental health problem. This is not picky, eating. And calling it that trivializes it. This is disordered eating. And needs professional support from both a doctor and a specialized therapist. Please note that anyone on here naming a specific disorder should be ignored. Nobody can pin down a specific illness who is not a qualified professional who has spoken to your family in person to perform an assessment. First you need to get your husband to speak to his doctor. With and without you present. The key things they need to know are that your husband's diet is becoming increasingly restricted. Give a timeline if you can. X food group stopped in Y year and month. He can't explain it. And he can't stop even though it is affecting his marriage and his child. That gives them the key information to get into the ballpark of the issue. They will be able to screen for and rule out all kinds of other possible causes. I am not narrowing this down to purely mental health. You want to rule out whether he has any pain or nausea he isn't mentioning. Whether he has other symptoms which might point to hormonal or neurological changes. And a bunch of other checks your doctor can guide you through. Disordered eating does not solely mean an eating disorder and eating disorders can come about as a Result of bodily sensations and sensory problems don't get too attached to thinking he has a specific diagnosis yet. Once you have a doctor, you also need individual and family therapists. If a mental health cause is pinned down then a specialist for that is obviously on the cards. But you and your child need support too. You need a space to get your stress unpacked. Work on family communication strategies around this. And learn more about what you're dealing with. Your child. In particular. 
is going to need help to emotionally understand that daddy is unwell and that copying his choices isn't safe sensible or kind kiddo has learned that x is a good excuse to not do something he doesn't like doing he doesn't understand that for his dad it's not an excuse and that understanding will take some navigating in order not to make it more stressful for him two of the biggest contributors to disordered eating are stress and shame linked to food and everyone is now stressed about eating and feeling judged over it which is going to be making any issues actively worse for all of you as best you can please switch the tone of these discussions from stop making this bad choice to it seems like you can't stop making this choice i feel like you can't explain why you feel this way and it scares me this is dangerous for your health and more so for our son who is still growing i am scared that you are ill perhaps mentally and perhaps physically and i have been so stressed and forceful because i didn't know what was happening i'm trying to get that fear of mine under control and i hope you can work on expressing what stress or pain or sensation is making you feel this way about food to do that i really need you to come with me to the doctor i'm going to get our child into therapy to help him understand he can't copy what you're doing in this instance because I need to head off him having long-term issues. I know you want him to grow up healthy and not be restricted in what he can eat. Can we help each other get through this? Quote. If he won't see a doctor you are going to have to be patient and persistent. You are also going to have to get yourself and your child to therapy regardless of your husband's engagement and push him into couples counseling. Either way. Reframe it as best you can from you versus him about food into you and him together versus the problems that food is causing. To have the best chance of getting help he's going to need to feel like you're on his team. Don't get me wrong, it's normal and natural to be frustrated by unexplained harmful behavior. All the more so when the person is resistant to changing it. You are not to blame for reacting the way you are. But you can break the spiral and push the conversation onto different tracks if you can channel your frustration. It's not an easy ask, but it can be done. Please try to consider that your husband is also likely not to blame. People who are experiencing bodily sensations or emotional compulsions they can't explain find that scary. They try to find a narrative it fits into in their mind and will get deeply defensive of that narrative because saying i don't know what's wrong and i can't fix it is terrifying this isn't even a conscious process it's not something they choose to do our brains are built to connect events around us to try and explain them and they do it as a protective measure as much as a learning process an explanation comes to mind it explains the problem and stops the fear and the person finds having it challenged brings the fear back and therefore gets stressed in angry and withdraws from any hint of a challenge coming to recognize that one is ill is a process it might take time and lastly kiddo is not to blame he's just doing what kids do testing the boundaries of what behaviors which people are allowed as he learns about social roles it will take some explaining for him to understand some things aren't to be copied or used as excuses because he's not experiencing the same things as other people. That's a complex lesson for a kid, again. Give it time. Broadly. This is a lot to deal with. And it's going to be a lot for a while. Please make space to take care of yourself through all this. I know it's extreme but if he refuses to go see a therapist and dietitian, I would refuse to have him at the table. Your kid's diet comes first and if your husband can't act like a role model don't let him be a model at all. He can eat after your son finishes and eat his pizza and potatoes on his own. But again, the first response should definitely be a therapist and dietitian. This is a hill to die on. You tell him he's going to die eating like that. Does your husband have any conditions that could explain this? 
like autism? Avoidant Restrictive Food Intake Disorder ARFID, is a new diagnosis in the DSM-5, and was previously referred to as Selective Eating Disorder, and is often present in autistic individuals. Your husband has an eating disorder. He needs help. Let him eat separately. Also he is going to really kill his health and his body by middle age. Since he won't listen to you perhaps schedule a visit with his doctor to discuss his eating habits. Does he have a sensory processing disorder? I'm an extremely fussy eater too and only after finding out I have autism did it make sense in. I've actually found myself trying new foods now because logically I know my aversions. So I can better figure out what foods are worth my trying. Sounds like ARFID maybe? See if you can get him to talk to a nutritionist or therapist. It's a disease. You husband needs treatment and therapy. Your kid doesn't get to pick and choose. You can tell him it's both your jobs to make sure he gets the right foods to grow up healthy. The dad is an adult and he has to live with the consequences of eating a very poor diet. Until he's an adult he has to follow the rules. Maybe he has ARFID, I struggle with it too. If that has been his diet his whole life I'm surprised he is around. I watched a documentary recently that a teenage kid went blind because of vitamin A deficiency. I forgot the name but watching that may help your husband understand why your son should have a healthy diet. Sadly, I suspect you're going to have to get your husband into therapy. Can you get him to agree that his preferences are unreasonable? And that he should try to investigate the reasons behind these preferences? Are you married to a 15-year-old by any chance? Does he has sensory issues that never been addressed? I hope this isn't disrespectful. I'm only trying to help but have you guys seen this episode of Freaky Eaters? Reality Show HTTPS www.youtube.com slash watch V equals FFGH0 HBVAU0 I feel like if this isn't a giant wake-up call that starts to modify behavior then you need professional help. Don't feel defeated if this is the case. If you had a major leak you would call a plumber. Sometimes you need a pro. And don't put it off because this is very serious. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.